crafty family it's me again and today I am going to play with some of my well I'm gonna play with my little jelly plate yeah that's what I'm doing <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say I have no idea and I'm gonna do some of these book pages and I'm gonna do a magazine page and I'm just gonna have some fun and we're just gonna play and I'm gonna use deco arts um, media fluid acrylics which I love, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that a thousand times, I love it. So I have lots of colors, and I have some that are my favorites that I've found, and others I haven't even tried yet. So, yeah, we're going to get going on this for sure. Let's see. I'm trying to find, specifically... I like this color. Let's do some yellow and green. And what is that? That's antiquing cream. I don't want that there, do I? Maybe I do. Um, yellow and green and this, that's not it. And this turquoise. How's that? That sounds good, doesn't it? Now I have found with a homemade jelly plate, I don't think this is true for a um, like store-bought actual jelly plate because I've seen people use these paints on a regular jelly plate and they spread perfectly fine but for some reason on this one because it's not made with mineral oil and it's a bit more sticky um, it has a little bit more of a sticky consistency and there's like a hair on my jelly plate um, anyway because it's uh, sticky consistency it doesn't spread as well this type of paint for some reason so what I like to do before spreading out um, the paints is spray some water down but first I'm gonna find a couple of pages out of the book I'm just gonna rip some pages out which they don't I don't really care how neat and perfect they are Jeez, you'd think they wouldn't be that strong. <laughs> Just get like four or five pages out. Just randomly. There's four of those. And then I'm going to take out of this September's issue of Cosmo. I'm going to take pages, like in other words, I don't want to take that page because I want that little dog. I'm going to use a lot of this for collaging. So I want to find pages that like this page maybe, where it doesn't have anything on it that I would really use for collaging. So I can take that one and let's see. Um, hmm. Something where there's like ads or something. magazine pages and then I've got just some regular regular old paper so what I'm gonna do is just spray this like two three times and then put my paint down I'm just going to put two tiny drops of each paint and I mean like tiny drops they only look bigger because they spread out because of the water but they really are just tiny little drops. And then I'm even going to wet my brayer a little bit so that it doesn't grab a hold of the paint and not spread it the way I want it to. And it's going to go on a little bit more like a watercolor than anything this first time. And then what I'll do is uh, as it gets better, you know, I'll know how much water I can use or not use. So the first sheet will be a lovely that type of sheet where I just you know clean off my brayer sheet and then I can go through and do that which is cool I dig it and what's nice about this is I could do it two ways I can lay the paper on or I could pick the jelly plate up and put it on either way will work 
for this because this jelly plate is awesome. And I'll show you um, where I pick it up and actually use it like a stamp. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Very cool. And then I can probably go in and pick up a little more. This stuff tends to dry fast. Um, but I'm still getting some prints off of it. It tends to dry a little faster than normal um, uh, other acrylic paints. So there's that one. I can keep going and layer on and add some different colors. Like, let's see, we've got this phthalo turquoise. And again, well actually I'll probably squirt it afterwards this time just so I don't activate the back colors until the very last minute. And some purple. And this, I like this red because it's like a, I think this is the one that was like a hot, turned out like a hot pink almost. And now I'll just give it one spray, one good spray, that, that usually will do it. It just takes a little bit of work, but this gives like some really cool, cool colors. And now if I do more of the texture, I want to do like some soikles. I want to do like a soikle here. And do like a soikle here. Whoops. See, it dries so fast, it's already drying, which is like really bizarre. It dries so fast. I'm going to put it right back on this other sheet. Got to work faster with the media acrylics or just spray it again because it does seem to dry a lot faster. Yeah, see, like it didn't even print that well. So what I'll do is take a new sheet, give this a couple of sprays. Hopefully it'll reactivate and I can print, but I love the colors so much. I really do. Yes, yeah, this should pick up now a majority of the paint. I'm letting it sit on there a minute. Eh, not really. See, that's the thing, it's, it's weird because it actually seems to like literally dry onto the, the jelly plate to the point where it's not gonna come off. I wonder if I can clean this off. Yeah, you can, see, it cleans right off with water. That's just the weird thing, man, it's so weird. It's not, it, it's, it's acrylic paint, but it's just, it acts differently than, you know, typical acrylic paint, paint the way it dries so fast. I mean, yeah, I'm not using as much either, which is also the case. I'm not using as much as I did on my big plate. I, I'm not putting a lot on, and I screwed up the texture of that side of the plate because I sat there and ran with my tool across it too much. I'll flip it over and use this side, shall we? just got to get it flattened down and I'll show you what I mean when I pick it up and actually use it as a stamp because and this is still a cool print no matter what I like it I dig it and I could still layer on top of this one but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over let's say this side and let's find some colors I think this was like the hot pink can't remember. Yeah, this I think this one was. No, I'm trying to find the one that I liked a lot. Oh, there it is. Okay. They're on the other side of my bucket. Okay. This one was like my favorite color. It I know it shows up red on camera because I already tested this theory out. And it does show up red on camera, but it trust me, it's a really deep hot pink. I love it so much. It's like my favorite color. It's such a badass color. What sucks is you only get an ounce of these paints. I really, 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 really wish that they would come out with bigger bottles for these because they definitely need to come out with some bigger bottles of these paints. And then I will use this one. See, and that's already gonna dry. Like, you barely have time. Just gonna pick it up hold it like this and drop it down on one side and then rock it down to the other side and then you could push on it you know a little bit firmer 
to get better coverage and get cool designs. And I didn't even put a design in it. I was just going for the color. And it's covering up, but obviously it's not going to cover up. It's going to take a few layers to get that covered. So I won't worry about that because that'll take too long for us to get some layers to cover that. So I'll mostly worry about getting it onto the paper that you can actually see. I'll do this one. But I like picking it up. It's kind of fun. That's why I like the little one. And you can make a little one too um, really easily. Just uh, make it like, you know, you got to make sure you have a pan that is the size, you know, a small size. It doesn't have to be exactly this size, but this is like four by six and a half. Um, so if you have a similar kind of pan, it doesn't have to be exactly, it could be four by six, it could be, you know, three by five, I don't know. If you have a pan, you know, that has a nice clean bottom with no lumps or ridges or anything like that. Um, see, that's a really cool print. I like that. These are all good backgrounds and stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, you make the, pr you make the recipe in like a third or, or no, actually in a quarter of what it was for the big plate that I had shown you, told you about. And you know, this way you just pour in until you see it get about, you know, half inch thick and then that's it. If you have extra, just throw it down the drain or if you have enough, make two, two small ones if you have two pans. Um, but having a small plate is really cool. I really enjoy having the little one because that's kind of fun. I can actually see myself almost using this. I don't want to say more, but that's not the right stuff. I keep grabbing the wrong stuff. I can just see myself using this plate pretty often just because it's fun. It's fun! I'm even going to throw a little bit of white in here. Whoa, my lid is coming off. Glad that the, that didn't come off like... I'm not even going to put any water and I'll show you what I mean. Well, this one's spreading out because I put more paint, so never mind. <laughs> I guess that theory went out the window, but <laughs> I put actually more paint on that one than I normally would have. And I'm actually going to put this over... I had a sheet of paper or something. Or maybe not. Oh, there it is. Over this. I'm going to cover, I'll cover this side. If I can find my... thingamabobbers. I'll just press it down. Yeah, if you put enough paint, it'll, it'll do fine. I guess I wasn't putting enough paint then, but I didn't mind adding water to it either. See, and that covered it. Not all the way, but it covered it some. It's fine by me. Let's add some orange to this sucker. And what's nice about these paints is um, once they dry, they dry permanent, so you're not gonna get like mixtures of colors on your paper. So you can layer multiple colors on top of each other, which is really cool. I kind of like that. That's a lot of fun. Okay, I want to try some of these paint sprays on here. So I'm not even going to clean that off. I'm just going to see what happens because, I mean, if I ruin this jelly plate, I'm not going to cry because it really didn't wasn't a big deal to me at all. This is the yellow green media mister. Let's see, what else do we got? Yellow green, and then we've got the uh, primary yellow. And then we've got the shimmer, which is like a, well this says yellow, but it looks very, almost orangey. What other color do I have? Oh, we'll do red. Or wait. Oh, I do have orange. Okay, good. I have orange. So I'm just going to give these a try. Let me get some more book pages out because I've run out pretty much. I've run out.
is the sheets that you know the prints that you pull off dry very quickly so you don't have to worry about you know setting them all out to dry for you know ever and this you probably wouldn't even have to sp spread it out with the brayer because you can kind of spray it where you need it to be which is kind of cool um, I'm trying to think do I want to put anything on here maybe a doily Maybe we can do a doily. Maybe I'll do like, I'll cut it in half and do like half the doily on one side so that it can be like that and like that. And then what else? What else can we put down? Um, oh, that's right. I have a whole bag of stuff that I'm not even paying attention to. I've got all this stuff. This is my jelly plate supplies. Jelly plate supplies. And then I can use some bubble wrap for, like, the center. So I'll do that. Actually, I want to put that like that. All right, so let's do some, and then some green, and then we'll put some more yellow over here, put some orange. See, so that's pretty cool. And then I could take the bubble wrap and go in the center, and I will put it on this sheet here and just get some texture going, which looks cool. I don't know if you can see. I'm oh, popping the bubble wrap. <laughs> and then I can, uh, well, I could do a print like that. I could do it on this side. I could do a print like this, which I probably should have waited till the other stuff dried on there. And just do a random print, and then I could take these off. And then that leaves a pattern. Eh. Not as impressive as the big jelly plate, but still fun to use. So you can use sprays. Um, they just spray all over the place, so you gotta be careful, because they do make a mess. Which kind of sucks if you're trying to keep your workspace sort of clean. They do kind of make a mess. And the only thing with the media misters, every time you use them, when you get done, you have to take the sprayers out and dip them in water and spray them until they spray clear so that you don't clog up your, um, your, uh, your media misters, your, your clog up your nozzles and stuff. That's what they recommend on the, on the YouTube channel and the website and all that stuff. So you want to keep your nozzles clean or else they pretty much will clog I guess so and I've heard on you other youtubers say that theirs have clogged and so I'm probably going to obviously clean mine because I'm ridiculously anal what can I say and then I'm gonna clean this off of there and see how well the sprays clean off let's see how well they clean off Yeah, they seem to clean off just fine, so you can use the Media Mister sprays from Deco Arts without issue on your homemade jelly plate. So I would imagine you can obviously use it on the, you know, bought, store-bought jelly plate as well. I just didn't know if you could use sprays on it. I was, that was one thing I was wondering. Well, that's good to know. Good to know! Alright, so now I can pick this up clean off any other little bits and put it back on its plastic little home. 
which I got paint underneath of it too. Smooth move, XX. Okay, so I've got things falling all over my lap here. Because I have no room to work. What else is new? So I guess what they mean by cleaning them, and I'll show you, is to take your, um, and I will try to find a scrap piece of paper. Here's a scrap piece of paper. Is to take off your um, paint thing, which to me, this seems like an awful big waste of paint to do this every time. Ooh, this would be fun. Not really, it's not really a waste if you flick it onto your sheets. But anyway, you're supposed to put it in water and then spray it until it runs clear, but I can't get a grip to spray it. Which it's still not running clear. Oh, I can do a whole sheet with that, geez. Now it's running clear. So now I can finish off in the garbage can and then put it back in here and I'm good. I should be good to go now. So that's what they mean by cleaning it off. Just thought I'd let you know, which I'll do the other two later because I'm sure they will be fine for the next 15 minutes or so. Come on, the caps won't go on without knocking the bottles over, of course. I'm like covered in paint and I really haven't done very much. But that's my life. Now I have pee in a jar. Would you like some pee in a jar? It's very neon pee. It's radioactive. Would you like some? Thirsty? <laughs> neon pee in a jar. Get yours today at Kmart for $29.95. Okay. Oh yeah, jelly plate. Let's do something else. Let's try different paints. Let's try shall we let's try their metallics and let's see their twinkles their glitter paints how's that sound um let's see i've got various twinkles various metallics that i'm interested in trying more twinkles we can do some really groovy sparkles Ooh, there's pearlizing medium. That's fun for making paints all pearlized. We can do that, you know, after this maybe. More metallics. What else have we got? More twinkles, more twinkles. Okay, so we've got a lot of twinkles and metallics. So let's play with that for a minute. Sounds like a plan. I gotta take all the lid, the the wrappers off, of course. Not wrappers like 50 Cent or Tupac. These kind of wrappers. That was a terrible pun. That's the name of my life. It's like magic. That's the best way to get these suckers off is to just slit them up the side with some scissors and then they rip right off, just go like you're trying to cut the side of the top and just give it a little pressure and it won't hurt the bottle at all and those little annoying plastic things will come right off. So much better than sitting there going and like trying to peel them. So much better! More better! I'll even take it off the pearlizing medium so I don't have to do that later either because by then I'll have lost my scissors we all know that come on um okay so I've got what is this uh, metallic champagne Ooh, that just kind of prematurely ejaculated all over my jelly plate sorry I didn't mean to offend anybody but it really did <laughs> just kind of as soon as I open the lid. This one had a little more stamina. Come on. You're one of those people that just keep going and going and you just never get it over with. Dude, there we go. <laughs> I 
it's always about sex with me. Here's some golds. This is going to be very gold and sparkly, metallic y. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a good one. We'll even throw a little silver in there. Now, leave, let's leave it all gold because that's just fun. Who doesn't want gold? This is a lot of paint for this itty bitty thing. <laughs> this is like enough paint for the big jelly plate, I think. Squeaky brayer. That's the story of my life. We will do it on this one. It's sparkly. Okay, let's put this down. Voila, like magic. It's just giant sparkle gold. That's all it looks like. We're going to add some variation in here because it just looks like giant sparkle gold. There's no variation whatsoever. Add a little silver. We're going to add some blue sparkle just because we can. And we're going to add some pink sparkle. And we'll even add some pearlizing medium just to see what the hell that does. It's like white, white pearlized paint. So we'll do this and we'll go over here and we'll go over there and we'll go that way and we'll go this way and we'll put it, we'll roll this on here. No, we'll roll up the whole paper. That's just a sparkly book page now. That's all that is. Let's see if this one will be any different. We'll put it over here. Are you having fun yet, or are you guys bored to tears? I'm just playing with the different paints just to see what works and what sucks. Well, that's pretty. It's just sparkly again. So really, this is good if you want to put it over something that you already jelly printed. Like, for instance, here's a doily that I did. I can add some sparkle to it. These are like good add-ons, but they're not good by themselves. Not these. Um... They're not good, like, they're good metallics, but they're not like um, the metallics I had where they were like the bright colored metallics. They're not as good as those, I'm going to say. They're good, but they're, you know, eh. You know what I'm saying. Let's see if I can get any of that off of there. Add it to there. Now I'm just screwing off. All right, well, I'll leave that on there for the time being. I'm going to put these paints away. We figured out what they do, and it's not that spectacular. What we're going to try next is some of these metallic lusters. Can we possibly get them onto a jelly plate? I don't know. Let's try. Let's see what happens if we try to put these suckers and knock everything over that, it, that exists in this room. With one fail swoop, I just knocked over like a ton of stuff. We're just going to take some of this. We're probably obviously going to have to put water on it. But I'm going to just spread it out a little. And yeah, we're going to see what happens. This is all an experiment. It's science, bitches. And then I'll wipe this off so I don't contaminate my other... Thing. I might need a baby wipe for this, of course. Going through more baby wipes, doing gel printing than, or jelly printing than anything. Okay, and then we got purple. Ugh, they're hard to open, man. And there's a little bit of purple on the lid there. You take that, that should be enough because this seems like an awful lot of paint. Enough. You do not need a lot of the metallic lusters. They seem to go quite a far ways. Quite a far ways. And then there's silver. So we'll add a little silver in there for just a little extra oomph. A little extra sparkle. Ooh, this is very, very dry. Very dry. I'm very disappointed. This is brand freaking new. It should not be dry. I know I can add water to it, but I shouldn't have to. These are brand new. And I'm going to have to sit here and add water to this now. 
and let that soak in. That really pisses me off because that's brand flipping new. Brand new, and it did not come with a paper cut. Oh, yes, it did. It's just stuck in the lid. That's not right. This should be brand new. It shouldn't be. Yeah, that's annoying. Anyway, we're going to spray these down with some water. And I'm actually going to use this palette knife to see what happens if I start spreading the color around because I don't think this color is going to spread too much using the brayer. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to add a lot more water to activate this. Let's activate this crap. Yeah, there you go. If you push down with the side of the jelly, yeah, the palette knife and just rub gently, it all gets like jelly. It becomes all one color too, which is all right by me. I just want to play with it and see what happens. Oh yeah, then you get a lot of paint on there. Then, if I could find my things, because again, I've lost everything. Ooh, make some, make some pretty patterns. Take a piece of paper. I'll take a clean side so we can see what the whole thing looks like. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. And see what's nice is there's still a lot on there. So you spray a little more water. Spray a little more water, my friends. That's all you need to do in life. Spray a little water. And you get more. And then you could spray more water. You could even go back with your thing and spread it more out because it's like stuck in there. And the more you spray, the more you'll get like a watercolor look. Oh yeah, this is kind of fun. I do like the metallic lusters on the jelly plate. They're just fun. You can make like some patterns and such. And do fun things. I'm just taking random pages. Because we're just having a good old time. Yeah. So anyway, good times. It's just fun, boys and girls. We could even spray it some more. And this time, if I use my fingers, I bet you I could spread that out more. Oh, yeah. Because it's like stuck on there because it's like a paste. I use, do I have white? Do I have a white that's not a shimmer mister? No. I bet you if I add some of this white, and I'm not even going to spray it through the thing, I'm just going to go like this. Look at that. Do you see that spreading? Isn't that wicked? What was that? This thing just fell out of my sprayer. Look at this. This is, ah, no. Oh shit. Get back in. No, I just spilled it. I hate my life. I hate my life. Oh my god. I just spilled it. Oh, crap. Well, here, let's get some on there before I... <laughs> of course I spilled it because guess what, boys and girls? That's me. I spill everything. Well, I'm more worried about getting this print off of here, actually. So we're going to stick that down. I'm going to sop it up with my... <laughs> Uh, with my magazine. Wow, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to make the best of this situation. I'm going to take some of these book covers because it's a, it's a shimmer paint. So we're just going to cover everything in shimmer paint right now because I spilled the crap out of it. Why did I spill it? Because I'm a dipshit. Excuse the language, but I am. And I have nowhere to work, so everything is very much more difficult than it needs to be right now. And we're going to do like 
some fancy fold the page like I, it's everywhere all over me already so it doesn't matter I don't care what else is new in my life we're gonna put some on this I don't care screw it we're gonna add some paint to it and have a good old time Let's add some. Can you even see what I'm doing over here? It's over here and it's like a, a ridiculous disaster, but I'm gonna make the best of it. And this is going to become my jelly plate now. And we're gonna put some patterns in that. Check that out. That's actually more fun than the damn jelly plate. I just spilled all this paint all over the place. All this really nice paint, which kind of annoys me because I haven't even, I didn't even spray it yet and I spilt the damn thing. But look. Look how cool that is. I got better prints off of the spilled paint on my damn desk than I have off my jelly print. Jelly freaking thing. Jelly thing. That's what it's called. It's a jelly thing. Here's the print I got off of there. It's not nearly as nice as what I'm about to do. Look. Way better. I'm a jelly print master. And I don't even have to use a jelly plate, but I do need some more book pages because I've run out and I've got a uh, half a freaking pint of paint sitting on my desk screaming, pick me up. And I just ripped those pages really wrong out of the book because I'm just screwing up left and right. And these book pages, as old as this damn book is, doesn't want to freaking come out of the page. Doesn't want to come out of the book. Okay, let's try to get up to that again. No, don't try yet, because I ain't done picking stuff up with you. We are not done yet, mister. I guess we are done, because... Oh, wait, there's more underneath. I could squeeze this out. And take this and move it over. Look at my hands. Aren't they lovely? I don't even have a paper towel. Come here, stupid thing. Okay, I need to get some paint. I need my favorite color. What the hell is it? This will work. We're going to stick it down in here. Going to get down and dirty. Down and dirty, bitches. Down and dirty. I seem to like teal and pink a lot. I use those colors quite often. Ooh, and purple. Oh, yeah. Come on. I ain't got time for this crap. This is going to dry up faster than anything. That one, move out of the way before I knock you down too. I'm gonna pick up that crap off of there. I'm gonna take this page. I don't want the pages that I can't get a footprint off of. Ah, look at that. And guess what? I can get a second print off of that by blotting some of that up. Get out of the way, jelly print. You are no longer needed right now. Yay! Now I can keep going in and picking it up. Oh great, now I gotta touch my freaking camera with these hands. I'm literally a walking disaster today. Seriously, look at this. I'm jelly printing off of the spill that I made on my desk. But these prints are coming out better, I am not kidding. I would rather spill paint and do it this way, I think. No, I love my jelly plate, but I think I'm just having a little bit too much fun with my screw up, which, you know, is typical of me to F up as bad as that. That's just the first time it's happening on camera, but trust me when I tell you it happens every day. Every single day. I kid you not. I'm going to spray some water on this so that we can, you know, get some of it moving again. Yep, every day. That happens to me, whether I spill my iced tea all down my lap or, uh, you know, I run over a nail and pop my tire, which happened this week and it happened about three weeks ago as well. Oh yeah, that's my life. That's my life, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, but at least I can make a good situation out of a crappy one because I got some really good prints out of that spill. That was actually a lot of fun. So that was actually not a bad thing because it was kind of fun. I actually had a good time.
because I got some really good stuff here. All of this, which I don't know if you could see it because it might be off camera. This is probably my favorite one. Look at that. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, but I got to clean this stuff up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we are done and it's actually the next day because by the time I got everything cleaned up I was exhausted and not feeling well. So it's the next day and everything is dry so I wanted to just give you a quick show of what we made and how cool it is even though we spilt paint all over the place. We still spilt paint and it still came out looking awesome. Um, so I can add on to these or just leave them how they are. I love that the book still shows through and is around the edges. I love this one because it's very shimmery. And there's this one. And these are going to make great collage pieces or backgrounds for something. This one's got two sides of fabulous. And this one's got a ruler stuck to it. <laughs> there's that one. And then underneath of <laughs> things are stuck to each other. This one could make just a cool background. It's very glittery. This is the one we did with the metallics and the glitter paints from Deco Art. And then here's more. Here's another one. And then here's another one. I love this one. And I think, oh, there's one more. It's hiding. This one here. So they just look like really cool backgroundy type of papers and here's the one I did on the back of this um, paint sample thing. I just did that and then I stuck it in the white paint when I spilled it so I can add more onto that. Oh, one more. There's this here which I did two sides. This one has some glitter to it and this one has more shimmer to it. So yeah, good times. So you know I hope this inspires you to go out and play with your jelly plate and make yourself a tiny one. Make yourself a small one, make yourself a big one, make yourself all different sizes, make yourself heart shaped and round ones and all kinds of fun stuff and just have a good time playing and making a mess and spill some paint. And if you spill some paint, throw some more paint into it and just use it as a jelly plate and just soak it up and make it, make something good out of it. What can you do? It Spills happen, especially for me. They happen a lot. <laughs> so I hope you guys had a good time and I hope you keep on crafting and have fun with it. You know, that's the biggest thing. It's just to have fun. That's the, that's the big thing. You know, don't stress out about it. Just have a good time. I mean, I know I get stressed out sometimes when I do things, but overall, you know, if I'm not having fun, then why would I be doing this? You know, so just have a good time. So make sure that you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to everybody. And um, I will see you here soon. See you guys later. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.